So if you have a massive year, you made heaps of profit, um, that's one way of kind of reducing your tax in a, in a big way. With super, it's not really a trust distribution, this one, um, but it's a tax deduction from a trust. You, 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 there's ways to get it in there as a tax deduction. Now, <clears throat> we need to consider here our 25K cap per person per year. Um, now, if you do have under half a million dollars in super, um, you are able to carry forward any unused cap from 2019 onwards. <clears throat> Um, so we've got clients where you know they might have had a they might have been building their business and they're not contributing to super. A lot of self-employed people don't often prioritise super. Um, so let's say you're not doing it, <clears throat> then you've got 2019, 2020, 21, 22, 23, 24. Your superannuation, if you're under that balance, can carry forward up to five financial years. So let's say you didn't put in a cent, <laughs> then you can whack 125 grand per person into super in your fifth year there, which is pretty cool. So if you have a massive year, you made heaps of profit, um, that's one way of kind of reducing your tax in a, in a big way. Um, now you can put money into super over that cap, um, you can either pay more tax on the way in, which is um, sometimes not a great idea, or you can put it in after tax, um, which is called a non-concessional contribution. So <clears throat> you don't get a tax deduction for it, is another way of saying that. Um, but you can add to your super more than just that amount.